In this video, we will show you how to integrate PagerDuty with Atlassian status page. Let's start by creating a REST API key in PagerDuty. We will need to use the PagerDuty REST API key later in status page. Click Configuration, select API Access, click Create New API Key, add a description and click Create Key. Note, this key must not be a read-only key. Be sure to take note of the full REST API key as you can't view the full characters of the key after creation. Head to Status Page to add the PagerDuty integration. Once logged into Status Page, click Free Add-ons. Select Enable in the PagerDuty box. Click Use Add-on. Press the PagerDuty link. Enter the full REST API key created above and your PagerDuty subdomain. Select Link Account. After linking your PagerDuty account to your status page, you should see a new PagerDuty tab in your left side navigation bar. Next, we'll want to connect a PagerDuty service to status page so that new incidents triggered on the service can modify your status page based on the configured rules. Click the Add Rules button beside the Notify Nobody service. Now that we are on the Edit Rules page, on the left, choose any component in status page. On the right, choose any component status. Choose PagerDuty Demo as the component and degraded performance as the status. After mapping the component to the specific status, we can also configure the rules to open a status page incident using a predefined template once a PagerDuty incident triggers. Choose to open an incident using template processing delays, for example. Press the Save Rules button to activate these rules for the Notify Nobody service. Head to the service in PagerDuty that you configured status page to listen to. Manually trigger an incident by clicking the New Incident button. View how status page will change the component status and trigger the incident template based on the action in PagerDuty. Head to your status page account and click the Dashboard tab on the left side navigation bar. Notice there is an open status page incident using the Processing Delays template. Next, let's view how our component and incident look on the external facing status page. Click View Status Page. On the external facing status page, we can view our open incident and we can view our PagerDuty demo component has a status of degraded performance. Resolving the incident in PagerDuty will automatically resolve the status page incident. That's it. It is that simple to automatically create status page incidents and update a component status when a new PagerDuty incident is triggered, allowing your incident response team to limit the time spent on communicating with stakeholders, helping lower mean time to resolve. For more information, check out our status page integration guide or the PagerDuty knowledge base for best practice guides on how to communicate effectively with stakeholders.